Hi guys, Jarrell here, Grey Wolf TV, and I am back with another Angelina Jordan video. We're trying to blast through as many of these as we can before we start uh, diversifying to other artists. This one, she's back with Ivan uh, doing a cover of Bastille Happy. Now I have to admit, I don't know it. I don't know if I should know it, whether it's popular, not popular, whether it was in the jar, or I've, I've no idea. I don't even know who Bastille is, so forgive me for that. I've purposely, because I don't know, gone and looked it up. I'd rather just get Angelina's performance of this, because I've found when she's done covers that I don't know, I'd rather her show me the version that she's decided to do and a lot of the time they are these acoustic versions and just with her voice the mic and the guitar are usually amazing the, the sublime you can hear every nuance of her voice every key change every breath every little every little detail so we are going to listen to this uh cover version of happy like i said i don't know it so I'm not going to be comparing it to anything. All I'm going to compare it to is her, is herself, because I'm addicted to Angelina's voice as it is anyway. And if you noticed, it's starting to get to the point now where I can hear her voice and not see her. I know it's her. Her voice is becoming instantly recognisable. This one was done in 2019, so it's only last year, so what, 13? Um, so anyway, let's go and try it out. I'm sure it's going to be great. Can't wait. Let's try it. I love these close videos of her. Lately, I've been, I've been thinking, I want you to be happier. I want you to be happier. When the morning comes and we see what we've become, I'm the cold of the day with a flame in the wind, not the fire that we've begun. Every argument, every word we can take back. Cause with all of that happened, I think that we both know the way that the story ends. No, I don't know it. Then only for a minute, I want to change my mind. Just don't feel right to me I want to raise your spirits I want to see you smile But no, that means I laugh too late No, that means I laugh too late Lately, I've been, I've been thinking to be happier, I want you to be happier when the evening falls and I'm left there with my thoughts. And I'm the image of you with someone else, but that's eating up inside. But we run it's quite an unusual song. Pretend that we're okay. Now, if we jump together, at least we can swim from the way there of the wreck we made. A lot of this is spoken. Smile, but no, that means I laugh to leave. I want to raise the spirits, I want to see you smile, but no, that means I laugh to leave. I don't know whether this is a thing with Angelina or not, but a lot of these performances, you know what I have noticed, and I'm sure a lot of you have as well. She always seems to have to hand at the side, probably a sheet of paper or whatever with the lyrics on it. Now, is that she needs a reminder of certain words, especially with songs like this? There seems to be a lot of um, spoken parts in this. So there's quite a lot of uh, lyrics to remember. Is it that? Or is it she's not exactly 100% familiar with these songs as you would something that's one of your favorite songs and you know it forwards and you know it backwards and you know it's like every nuance and every word that the artist sang she seems to just be able to just reel it off 
whether it's something that she absolutely loves or whether it's something she just fancied covering anyway. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? I don't always think she knows every cover off by heart from forward, from, from beginning to the end, forward and back. And that, do you know how many songwriters and artists would love to be able to have someone who can do that? She does it with ease. Even when she's done certain songs where she's had to change the lyrics, like I think she changed them on Back to Black, and she wrote them down in the corners for performance and was just referencing from there. And it, it just comes naturally. She knows where to place the placement is for each word in each lyric. It's just, the girl's just a natural talent, regardless. Guitar solos with Ivan. Just compliment her. Bye. I was just saying at the end of the commentary that Ivan and his guitar with Angelina, they, they just seem to complement each other. I haven't heard a single bad performance from either one of them when it's just an acoustic version like this. Like I said, I didn't know the song. It's not um, normally the type of song I would listen to, but I was wanting to hear it for Angelina's performance. And the fact that I don't know the original is better for me because I can just assess the song and listen to it from her perspective and I think that's much better for me um, like I mentioned about the lyrics I don't always think she knows all of the lyrics because do you know how hard it is to memorise lyrics for pretty much every song that you do It's especially with the repertoire that she already has now um, without even writing many of her own you know a lot of the covers that she's done it's incredibly incredibly difficult Um whether that is actually a thing or not, or whether she just needs it as a reference for the odd word, I don't know. Maybe someone can tell me. Maybe she's she's uh, mentioned it somewhere on social media or something. I don't know. I don't have the time to follow her or anyone else quite that uh, intensely. But it's just something that I've noticed on quite a lot of these performances. But then again, when she goes out live anywhere... It seems to come naturally. She seems to know all the lyrics, so I, I don't know. Um, maybe it's just the, the less familiar ones that she does at home or in the studio rather than do them out as a live performance. Um, because I know there's a lot of her favourites that we hear from her are her favourites as well from the different eras. Right, so that was um, a cover of Bastille called Happier. Like I said, don't know the song I'm sure a lot of you will um, and probably wonder why I don't know it maybe it's my age group I don't know anyway uh, don't forget this will be available on Patreon as well without me waffling all the way through the middle of it which I'm sure you all know by now why I have to do that just to break the song up a little bit but it's also I keep saying this to people this is a reaction channel I like to react and mention and pause it to say something 
while it's there because if I leave everything that I'm thinking while I'm listening to performance to the very end a lot of it gets lost in translation or I forget to mention it and then I finish the recording and I go I didn't mention this I didn't mention that so it's another reason why this is meant to be an analytical type of review and reaction not just me watching the whole thing and then just going that was good like some people may do um, some people may go into it far more in depth than I do but I enjoy watching Angelina sing no matter what it is she's singing right we'll be back with another one with hers very soon guys so until then if you're not already subscribed and especially if you're a fan of Angelina hit that subscribe button turn your notifications on because you will always be able to find her stuff on this channel